in the country. Yeah. I know there's a lot of stuff we see that there's no way they seen in big cities like LA or New York. I know that we've seen some big snakes. Yes, definitely see them here and all the time. All the time. Yeah, they, out like yeah. This. and then you know where? Like this? Yes. <laughs> That's why we have to kind of be strong, because yeah. we have to wrangle big animals. And... It's tough holding a pig to trim hooves. Oh, yeah, exactly. Hold them down. What you think a New York City doctor would do if he had a mule sitting on his shoulder like me? Oh! And you can always tell the difference, too. How's that? Because we never wear white coats to work. If I move to New York... You can put that white coat I on. I need a white coat. And I'm going to say, look at you. <laughs> Like you told me, you got to turn in your country car. No more mules. No more mules. You good? Yeah. I'm going to dry this thing, though. <laughs> Today, the cases are rolling in at Critter Fixer Veterinary Hospital. Yeah, let's see what we got going. Oh, wow. It's a little bit of snake, man. Yeah, she's tiny. I thought she was big. I brought in my big reticulated python, Shiva, because she has gum inflammation. We named her Shiva off of a video game character that has four arms, and it takes more than four arms to carry her. I also brought in three of my other snakes that may be pregnant. Man, she is super strong. Whoa! Travis, can you give us a hand, please? She's going to fight us the whole time. How long you had her? Just a couple months. Tell the press Yes, sir. Richie, hurry up, buddy. If you hold right here, hold that curl. There you go. Huh? I know. Such a sweet girl. I mean, I definitely see stomatitis. Basically, inflammation in there. She might not like this a whole lot. I know, sweet girl. I'm gonna go look under the microscope. I'll be right back. Sounds good. All right. Boy, this is a lot of snake, man. Yeah, I feel her kind of trying to wrap that down a little bit. If you let her wrap around you, you might be more comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that. What you see over here? Cox, huh? Mm-hmm. You got back to here? Well, at least we know it's stomatitis, which is basically a bacterial infection. I'm gonna get some antibiotics and we'll move on to the next snake. All right, boss, got some answers for you. It is bacteria, so it's basically stomatitis. It's just got a really bad mouth infection. So I'm gonna get some antibiotics. Who we think might be pregnant? The two red tailed boas. Happy big girl. All right, let me get my buddy here. T. I have 21 snakes. My entertainment center is an enclosure. I built a bar that also has two enclosures. My bed's an enclosure. We're very attached to them. You want to see if they're pregnant. You remember just back in vet school, pythons have what? E eggs. Pythons have eggs. Yep. And boys have? Liber. Liber. On these babies here? Yeah. She may be pregnant. OK, yeah, yeah. just do the x-ray. To determine pregnancy, the docs must verify the presence of fetal skeletons inside the boa's bodies. All right, you ready? All right, we're shooting. There we go, baby. We got two employees for the front, right? Richard hop in there with a 100-pound snake and hold him. But... And won't let go. And won't let go. And that's a great thing. Why y'all sweating, man? Why y'all sweating? Just a little snake, man. Just a little snake. This is big girl. What we're doing is looking for the calcium in there. Mm -hmm. She could be early. Big girl might be pregnant. I can see a tiny bit of bone showing in her uterus. Up next is Happy. I'm interested in Happy the most. This is Happy, right? I think yeah. we might have some calcification there. I see some early skeletons, so it's a good chance. Good shot. Happy has early signs of pregnancy. Two for two. Next up is Journey, the python. I might take this one. Y'all right. oh, pretty close, yeah. don't you? I told you if you just let her wrap around you. The same with Journey. Journey's real chill. Journey, she's about 18 feet and close to 100 pounds. She's something to look at for sure. No, they love snake. I mean, look at that color, though. Gorgeous. All right, y'all ready in the x-ray? All right, let's go to the x-ray. Snake this big, you do not even want to handle it by yourself. No, it can you, get dangerous quick. A snake like this wrap around you. You're not getting unwrapped. You're not. You got a big patient when you can be in the x-ray room and out the x-ray room at the same time. Sure is. Mm -hmm. Let me help you out, boss. She moving. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you always there when I need you. Um, I got you. Shoot sure, in. Let's pray for good news. Never did a pregnancy yeah. take on a snake this big. Yeah. I've never handled a snake this big. Well, the good thing about it, everything will be large on the x-ray. For sure. I don't see nothing there yet. So unless we early. Yeah, nothing large enough to call it 100%, though. From what Dr. Ferguson said, that we weren't a definitive yes, Journey was pregnant. I'm hoping for babies for sure. Man, I wish we had babies. Tell you the pretty snake, man. Yes. 
happy and big girl that was showing early signs of pregnancy. We're really, really, really excited about that. We will be grandparents.